Hello, distinguished members. Once again, I welcome you to our lesson. Okay, so open the terminal report and ensure that you close out the spaces. You close out the spaces. Okay, you close out the spaces. Very important. After you have done that, you can just close it and save it. Now, we want to do something here. So go to the login form. Like right click on it and select design view. Okay, now click on this. Now, we want to do some settings. The settings that uh, when the login form uh, appears, it should hide the ribbons. But before you do this, please and please make a copy of this application. Make it two or three, uh, two copies. Because if you don't take time and you didn't make a copy, you may end up losing all that you have done. It means that you have to start from the scratch again. I don't want such to happen to you. So I'm giving you this uh, uh, information that make sure you have make a copy of the application okay so i have done my copy already so i will not demonstrate how to make a copy so after i've done a copy so open the the the, the copy one and then come to click on this and go to event and then you come to uh, unload when this form load what should happen you click on the three dots here and go to code builder now when this form load we want to perform this task we want to hide the ribbons we want to hide the ribbons so in an access d o c m g hmm. dot what show to bar so you just type show and then you select it show to bar this year show to bar then you bring your comma the two bar if uh, access to bar you make it yes or if you make it let's make it no if you make it no it will not show okay it will not show that's why i'm asking you to ensure that you make a copy make a copy of it before we do the settings make a copy of it so if i after that that i'll just save and then come back i'll just close this login form now this is what to do come to file and then go to uh, options and the ocean go to current database so now download an icon an icon from in from what's from uh, this thing any website and put it here i didn't download any icon so i'm not able to demonstrate that for you but if you want an icon maybe you can design your own icon and then it will appear on all the forms and the reports okay and because that application icon you can use it as what well on your forms and the report since i don't have i will select now mm. okay so display status but do you want to display if you don't want to display you'll allow it like this if you want to display if you don't want to display you can take Mm. I'm just explaining. If you want to stick, you take down the tab doc, may you leave it like that. Mm. Document window option. Overlapping windows. Tab windows. Display document type if you want to. Then uh, the use spe I asked a special key. You don't want to use it. We don't want to use that. Access special key. You don't want to use it.
you also want to remove window theme control on form you want to remove that you also want to remove enable layout view you want to remove that you also want to enable you want to remove that so we stop here you leave it like this let's come to the navigation pin this is the navigation pin so you don't want to show it now there's one thing that you display form which form do you want to show first when you open the the forms uh, the application opens you want the login form to open first which will enable the user to enter the login details before you're able to access okay they are all these are all for you you want to ribbons and two option the shortcut no ribbon name we don't want that allow full menu we undo and take the rest you can leave it as it is okay you can leave it as it is We can leave as it is. Let's go to general and see something. Mm. Okay, that's all. Mm. If you are done, click on OK. Now it will ask you to close the form. So wait. Let's do something again. Go to the login form. Right click and go to design view. And then check something. Come here, go to the three dots. I want to check something. So this will open the uh, the dashboard for us. So we just uh, save your work, then close it, and then uh, I will open it again. So let's see how it will look like. This is my, I will double click on it. Uh, ooh, so it will ask for your password. We have hide the, the ribbon. So let's enter my login details. I'll click on login. So this is how it will appear okay we will uh, use an application we'll convert it to as an application uh, which will prevent all these things from showing so you see that it cannot access the so you can go to registry go to registry school details you can go and do whatever you want to do mm. You can come here. You see, you can make this as a, a full screen. Okay, you can make it as a full screen. Mm -hmm. See that the the whole of this. If you click on this, it will close the application. To close the application. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. so in our next lesson we'll be looking at the other uh, dashboard that i want to teach you another dashboard that you can create for your system okay for your system and then we'll make it an uh, an application okay We'll make it an application so if you have incepted your the application icon it will appear on this and i also told you that you should create a place for the report mm -hmm. i haven't done it yet but that's why i'm asking you to do that mm -hmm. so if you click here you can access the terminal 
pot. We need to put a, a button uh, in your form and uh, create a ensure to show the the close button here okay so that you can hide and minimize it okay the dashboard you have to do that setting on the dashboard uh, i'm giving you advice do that setting on the dashboard whereby you can what uh, hide and minimize and those things and then your report report if i close it to close the application you see if i close it to close the application so that is why i was asking us to uh to what uh to make a copy see if i have not make a copy it means i will have lose the application so there you have to go and set you have to set it very well so this is my copy that i've made so my copy will not uh Mm -hmm. So under the the report, mm. Mm -hmm. it should be at print preview. I don't want this. Uh, if you put a page, I don't want this page. So let me go to design uh, design view and remove these things. The page distance and close this gap. Mm. Make sure you make a copy of it. Uh -huh. Make a copy of it. So I'll make a copy of it. So that's okay. Mm, we don't want to do anything here. On load, you can put a on load a micro builder. For on load, if you want print. Uh, on low issue print preview mm. Mm. you can put that so that when the uh, it's load it will be your print preview let's see if close mm. on load so if all that is set and done then you you do the settings again okay you do the settings again okay so that um you will go to the auctions and then set the the settings okay Okay, so you come and do the settings here. Okay, you come and do the settings here. Mm. Do the settings here. I will not do that. I'll show you how to go about it. Okay. You can also, uh, if you can take this shortcut, the shortcut menu bar, you can allow full menu. If you want to allow full menu, you can do that. If you want to allow default shortcut menu, you can do that. All these things are for you. Name autocorrect. This one you leave it as it is. This one you leave it as it is. Don't touch this one. Don't touch it. Don't touch this one to leave it as it is. The only changes you can do are the navigation pin. Don't display it. And then you can eat that and take this one or leave it as it is. Okay. And then this one. You leave this one. 
you can untick this you can tick this and tick okay you can untick this you can also untick the the display status bar and then you set all okay if you are done you save your work we'll look at how to uh, make your ex your access file as an executable software in our next session thank you very much if you have any question you can ask thank you for your time bye for now